Well, hello there, it's Krint and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today I thought I should share with you a hack or a trick, if you will, that I use every time that I build. So this hack involves how to not have floating objects. As you can see here on this left bookcase, every item that I placed is slightly raised. I placed these items using the normal way, um, just hitting Ctrl 9 or Ctrl 0 to raise the items up or raise them down. And as you can see, all of them have a gap. Um, and here on the right, we have the items placed correctly without any gap and they look perfect. So how to do that? Let me teach you. So here we have two objects. Um, again, on the left, you have the object, which is, again, slightly raised. And on the right, you have how I correctly placed it. So if you want to place or raise an object, what you have to do is turn on move objects. And then if you copy the item and you go to raise it up, as you can see, it will float. Um, and it's not really visible like you have, yes, okay, to go into this eye level, but it's annoying. So what you have to do in each and every case is to find a surface um, in which the item can go on. And the surface has to be the same approximately height um, or when, the same height when you raise it up or raise it down as the object you try to place it on. So let me try to make it a bit clearer. Um, the items or surfaces or tables, however you want to call them, I usually use are the ones from Get to Work. Um, these pedestals come in so many different heights and most items can clip on them. So if you copy this one, which is what I used, and you raise it up, as you can see, it aligns perfectly with the height of those cardboards. So by simply getting this object and dragging it on, you will see that it will snap. And then you can just simply move it and it's no longer floating. Um, so let's see a couple more examples just to make it a bit more clear. One of the most common things that people um, place on objects that they usually float or it's more annoying, like it's getting cut off. And it's terrible. I hate it. Uh, so as you can see, it's either cutting off or it is floating. And in this version, it's not. So this table, again from Get to Work, um, fits perfectly in this height. So you can simply just get the TV, drag it on, let it snap, and then if you move it, it fits perfectly. Of course, this is not the only table that you can use. It's just the easier one. Um, if you don't have Get to Work, for example, what you can do is get one of these TV stands, which is slightly higher from these coffee tables, and raise it up. And as you can see, it mostly aligns. Um, but, you know, it's as close as you can get. So something else you can use this hack for is saving time when placing an object. Usually when you try to place these books, they never go on shelves, so you will have to raise them up. And in case of shelves, you can of course just adjust the shelf. But then again, every time you will have to hit uh, the copy and then raise it up. And you will probably have to do that a couple times. So again, by choosing the right item that aligns with the height of the shelf, what you can simply do is get the books and then you won't have to raise it up because you have already raised the surface in which the books go. So you are saving tons of time and boom. Objects are in a perfect place. Nothing is floating. And finally, the last thing that I want to show you is what to do when you size down the object. Usually, I don't like these tables if I'm creating a small space. So what I will do is I will size them down. The right version is the size down version, as you can clearly see. And you can, again, of course, pick a table and 
find the perfect one that matches the height. But sometimes if you want to place smaller items in these uh, bedside tables, it's simply easier to get a shelf that you will place in the exact same height and then you can simply just drag the item off the shelf or the surface and when you place it on top it fits perfectly of course if I had unlined it perfectly um, this is the little tutorial that I wanted to show everyone I think it's really helpful especially if you're a builder and not only you save ton of time but most of your builds will look way better with no floating objects afterwards and you won't make yourself mad while building so thank you so much for watching, I hope someone will find this helpful and I will see you next time. I hope that you'll have an awesome day and take care, bye!